Hello, it's Shane here from the Mental Health Gamers Network. Uh, today I am playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake and I think I'm fairly near the beginning but I've just been left in a bar on my own and I can't escape. Um, I'm getting a little bit bored so I thought I would try and do some labelling. So when you kind of get frustrated or overwhelmed, doing something that kind of takes you out of your thoughts and into your environment can be really helpful in order to try and kind of deal with any overwhelming thoughts or anything that you're having and try and push you a bit further back into that window of tolerance just so you can manage a little bit more. Um, so I've decided what I'm going to do is do kind of categories labeling. So I'm going to pick something, I'm going to pick a category and I'm just going to name everything that I can see in this bar that fits that category. Um, either for a good minute or two until I kind of feel outside of my head and in the environment or until somebody actually comes and picks me up or I figure out what to do next. Because as I said, I've been stuck here for a little while now, so I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do something, but I've no idea what it is. Um, so the category that I am going to pick, I think is going to be things that are square or rectangle. And I'm gonna start doing that now. So start over here, we have the, uh, the we like to chill at a cafe sign. Uh, we've got to our hometown, something to our hometown. Oh, welcome to our hometown. Uh, we've got a license plate for Final Heaven. We've got a TV and the screen in the TV. We've got, I think that's supposed to be a cocktail recipe in the background there with the pegs on it. Uh, we've got the cupboards, all of those are square. We've got three different menus. We've got a drinks menu, a lunch menu and a dessert menu. Got a big luminous egg and chips sign. We have got two photos and one drawing, which I'm assuming is done by Marlene, uh, or maybe even Barrett. So we've got the seventh heaven, I think that's supposed to be a license, so the manager is Tifa. We have this, I actually don't know what this is, it could be a map, it could be the molecular construct of a cocktail, um, difficult to tell. We've got a door, we've got two crates, we have another door, we've got two pictures, one of the original Seventh Heaven, that's nice, I noticed that before, uh, from the PlayStation 1 version of the game. Uh, we have some post-it notes that just say not on it. Uh, so order something smack. Okay, we have a box of tissues. We have two towels, I'm gonna count them as rectangle. We got the drawers here, we have a cookbook or a binder of some kind. Uh, we have got the towel, is that, on top of the stool. The two oven tops, the hobs, they're rectangular as well. The microwave, uh, sign of a good establishment. We've got good day, good drink, good food, every do it now. Okay. Uh, we've got the switches on the hood, we've got the vent, uh, what else we got? We've got the baskets, we've got these two boxes down here, this washing up bowl is rectangle, this washing up sink is rectangle, the chopping boards are rectangles, The one of the bottles in the background is a rectangle, today's menu is also a rectangle, is that everything from behind here? Uh, this tray, I'm going to count that as rectangle. Nope, that did nothing. Books, they're rectangles. A sneaky picture of a chocobo that I hadn't seen before. Also a rectangle. And coasters, which is a rectangle. Menu on the bar. Uh, so we have the luminous blue pizza sign. We have the front of the pinball machine, which I thought I was gonna have to press, but doesn't seem to actually be doing anything. Uh, we have the signs in the pinball machines as well, they're both square pictures. Um, we have a jukebox, which I've tried playing different things on, doesn't seem to make any difference. We have darts, which I didn't know I could interact with. Okay, this is, oh. Okay. Not something I wanted to do, how do I get out? Maybe just a bit. So I'll try that in a minute. 
Uh, so we have the darts ranking as well. We have all the window panes. We have the doors. We have the windows themselves. We have got a happy sprinkler season um, sign and new products in stock. And we've got the menus on the tables. And I think, oh, we've got this picture on here, which again is that. That's a picture of the new 7th Heaven. And something up at the top there, which I can't quite make out. It says thank you. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything I can think of. I think playing darts was the thing that I needed to do. So I'm going to end the video here and maybe carry on playing Final Fantasy. Um, so yeah, the idea is just, like I say, to label everything around you that fits a certain category so you have to think about it. If I'm only thinking about what's happening in the environment around me, I'm not thinking about the things that are overwhelming me. This can push me a little bit further back into that window of tolerance, which then stops me feeling as overwhelmed and I can start managing one of the things that is overwhelming me at the time. Um, so that's going to be all for me today in this really short video. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you have a good day and a good rest of the week. If you want to get in touch, please just leave a comment below or email us at mentalhealthgamersnetwork at gmail.com. Um, and I hope you have a, like I say, hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.